In this screencast, we will take a look at working with GitLab merge requests inside IntelliJ IDEA. If you are using GitLab, like I did in my last job, you'll be happy to know that IntelliJ IDEA now has GitLab integration for merge requests. When reviewing merge requests in a web interface, we don't have the same support that our IDE gives us, like syntax highlighting and the context within which the code was written. IntelliJ has support for reviewing and merging GitLab merge requests. These features are available if the IntelliJ IDEA project has a remote that points to GitLab. We can open the GitLab merge request using the GitLab logo on the left or from the menu by going to Git, GitLab, Show GitLab merge requests. If we aren't already logged into GitLab via IntelliJ IDEA, the GitLab merge request tool window will prompt us to log in. We can log into GitLab with a token. When we click Generate, a GitLab token with the right scopes will be generated for us. We can copy the token into the token field in the pop-up and click Log In. Alternatively, we can use an existing token as long as it has the required scopes. We can also log into our GitLab account in the settings under Version Control, GitLab. Once we're logged in, the GitLab Merge Request Tool window will show all open merge requests for the GitLab repository. We can change the search criteria to look for specific merge requests. We can use predefined filters or search for something more specific. If the merge request has assignees or reviewers assigned, we can see them here. We can see the details of a specific merge request by double-clicking on it. We can go back to the list of search results by clicking the project name in the top left of the merge request tool window. We can see that the merge request we just looked at still has a tab open here in case we want to go back. Usually, you'll want to look for open merge requests since these are the ones that need attention. Let's double click or press enter on one of these merge requests. If the merge request does not have a reviewer assigned, we can request a review and assign a reviewer. We can see the files that have been changed in the merge request in the bottom left window and the timeline in the main editor pane. We can also select a file to see the diff as well as the comments for that file. We can go back to the timeline by clicking View Timeline. The timeline shows the same information as the GitLab merge request activity page. The timeline shows activity on the merge request, including comments and other status changes in the main editor pane. If there are inline comments on the code, we can see them here. It also shows the result of any checks that were run. We can go to the details to see which checks failed and even click them to go straight to the failing check on GitLab so we can look at the details. We can open the merge request in our browser by right-clicking it, either when it's already open or in the list of merge requests. IntelliJ IDEA also shows if there are any conflicts so we know if this request is safe to merge or not. We can open any of the files that make up the merge request and IntelliJ IDEA will show them in the diff viewer so we can have a closer look at the changes that make up the merge request. Inline comments will be displayed in the diff view too. Alternatively, we can open the diff view by selecting the file and using the shortcut. Command D on macOS or Control and D on Windows and Linux. If the merge request contains changes to multiple files, we can navigate between those files. We can do so using the arrows at the top of the diff viewer. If the merge request consists of multiple commits, we can see the individual commits in the Changes From drop-down list. We can look at the changes for an individual commit if we want to. We can also see the number of comments for the merge request and for each file. We can hide all tool windows to focus on the diff. We can reopen them again using the same shortcut. Alternatively, we can reopen the merge request window by opening the Recent Files dialog, which also lets us open any of the tool windows. Here we can search for Merge to find the Merge Request tool window. If we go back to see the information about this merge request, we can see the current status of this merge request and the logical next step. For this merge request, we see that my colleague Marco Baylor is waiting for updates. Let's look at comments on our merge request. We can add comments to the GitLab conversation. Comments on this page are comments that apply to the merge request as a whole and not to a specific piece of code. We can see these comments inside IntelliJ IDEA too. We might need to refresh our merge request window, either using the shortcut Command R on macOS or Control F5 on Windows and Linux, or by right-clicking the merge request window 
and selecting Refresh Merge Request. We can also add comments from inside IntelliJ IDEA. We can place high-level comments, like the comment we just placed from GitLab. We might want to add comments on particular parts of the code. We can do so from inside IntelliJ IDEA by clicking on the plus in the gutter of the diff viewer. For example, let's add a comment to the current merge request. We can edit or delete comments. We can also reply to comments or resolve a comment that is no longer relevant. For example, if the code has been updated in line with the comment. From the diff viewer, we can submit our review and approve the merge request if we think it's ready to be merged. One feature that's really helpful when we're reviewing a merge request is that we can check out the code that is in the merge request. In this project, I'm currently on branch main. Let's check out the branch for this merge request. With the branch checked out locally, we can navigate the code related to this merge request. This lets us not only look at the code, but also make sure that the project still builds and the tests pass. We can potentially make changes too. Finally, let's look at how to finish off the merge request. Occasionally, we might want to close a merge request that is no longer relevant. If the merge request is ready, meaning that all the checks have passed, questions have been answered, and requested changes to the code have been made, we can merge it. We also have the option to squash and merge, meaning that all commits will be combined into a single commit. We can add our own commit message for the merge if we want to. The merge request will be merged, and if we do a fetch, we can see the updated branches for this repository. We can see in our browser that the merge request has been closed. Thanks for watching.